One important feature also of Delta is what we call table versioning or time travel for short. Let's, let's, what does this mean exactly? Let's see how it works. Let's say you have a table here, right? And this table, obviously, when you append, you have row one, and then you added another row, row two. Then this is table one, and then you came along after a while and say, okay, I need to insert one more table, uh, one more record to this table. So you added another row, row three. Now, every change that you make to this table, Delta will track a version of the table. So it's version one of the table where we had this two record. Now, version two, we had this three records. Now, if you came along and say, I need to add another record, like here, like row, th row four, then you're going to have a version three. What about if you deleted the record? So you deleted row two, right? So you deleted this row. Then you will have version four. This is version four, which is consistent of only these records because this one has been deleted. What about if you modified row three from the value A, you make it value P, B, right? So you have version five with the changes recorded. So every single change that you make to the Delta table will be recorded. What kind of change that was there? Was it some update change, or delete change, or insert a change? What happened to the table? And so on. We'll track it with version. Not only version, we'll also track it with a timestamp. So version one was, I don't know, at 8 a.m. Version two at 9 a.m. Version three at 10 a.m. And so on, incrementally. Why we do this? Because it allows you to come along after a while and say, okay, I made a mistake. I should not have deleted row two. Can I, can I go back? Can I restore the data to previous version? So version five is basically is corrupted. There has a table, a record that was deleted, or that was actually version four. So version four was corrupted. I should restore the data from version four to version three. So Databricks Delta allows you to do that. So you restore the table. You can say restore table version as of v v3. So your table will be restored back to where it was at version three. So like a kind of like a rollback example. So you go back in time. You can also restore using timestamp. You don't, you don't, do you really have to track the version? Not really. You can use chronological order. So I don't know which version was it yesterday when the data got corrupted, but I know I, I made the changes at eight or at like 11 a.m. yesterday. So I'm going to restore my table to 10 a.m. Wherever the version was, but data. So data breaks. So Delta will go back and say, okay, at 10 a.m., what was the version? Oh, it was version three. So we're going to restore to version three. They're using a timestamp rather than a version number. You can actually, you don't have to restore. You can select from a previous version. You don't have to restore in order to select. No, you can select. You can make a select statement right select from version as of version 3 so you can select you can perform your select the statement against a specific version of the table or a specific time stamp in the table whatever you know the one operation that you want to do delta will allows you to do it with ease restoring a table or reading from a previous version or doing time uh, or do version management. And this is per done by Delta. You don't have even to think about it. This is not a feature that you write code for or configure something for and so on. This is supported by default by Delta. And this is a, a great feature for people who work with sensitive data that needs to be versioned, that needs to be tracked. And if there is something wrong happened, you need to quickly go back in time and change the table, restore everything where it was and so on. So that was the time travel feature uh, of Delta. So see you in the next lesson.